Welcome to week two of the fishing report. On week two of the fishing report, I brought Connor Doherty out today to help with uh, some indicator fishing. We're fishing on the Rush River. We're just up from the gun club. Uh, conditions are fairly similar to last week. We're down on the, the Rush River. Uh, water temps are kind of in that same range between 40 and 44 degrees. Uh, with this week's forecast and lows being in the high 30s with some rain, possibly snow coming, I don't foresee the water temperature to warm up any. There is still going to be some snow runoff. It's not going to be detrimental, but the water could be a little stained, making for some decent streamer fishing and uh, probably upsizing your flies if you get to the river and the water is dirty. So behind us is the run that Connor and I will break down for you guys today. We're focusing similar to last week. Uh, water's clear. There's not an excess amount of flow, so we're fishing pretty small, uh, down to 6x on some small midge patterns, size 18. Um, yeah, so let's get after them. We'll break it down and we'll get you guys some video on how we're doing that. Right now we're gyro nymphing. It's a little bit newer style of fishing, especially around these parts. It's been around for a few years, but we've really been able to adapt this super well to the streams by us. It allows for um, fishing these tighter rivers, some of the heavier cover and rocks. You can get a little bit better drift and control your depth a little bit easier, so you're not always having to adjust your indicator and weights up and down. So when you're looking for the strike of the fish, you usually watch your line and you, I like to watch where my flies are in the water as well. Um, sometimes you see the fish flash and that's all you'll know. But you watch that little section of pink indicator line or whatever color you have and then you just kind of feel the bottom. And when you have a fish, the strike indicator will either pause or move in a direction different than the stream usually flows. And otherwise you can usually feel them take. So right now I'm just casting out and across right on the edge of that fast water seam. And I'm letting those flies sink down, bounce on the bottom. I'm just watching my indicator line right there, looking for a strike. I'm just kind of using that to control my depth. Seems the last two I've had have been kind of right on the slower edge. Right now I got a little stone fly imitation on, a little rubber leg. Um, with the dirtier water, a little bit bigger fly might help them. But then there's a lot of midges coming off the shore and out of the water around here. So I've got on a little olive zebra midge and a little smaller fly, give them a little a little both big and small. Rolling. We got a nice little brown trout here. Um, I was just up there drifting the fast water right on the edge of the deep break kind of right where it starts to get shallow um, Third drift came and hit it uh, nice little brown 
All right, as we lose light, I just wanted to close out today's episode. Some of the key takeaways are the conditions are fairly similar to last week. We still have some snowpack. Uh, that snow is melting, causing the river to swell a little bit and have some off-colored water here and there. The water isn't too off-colored where you can't get them on small nymphs. Uh, we've caught fish today on size 18. Uh, they're still holding in some of the similar areas, but you're also getting fish up in the faster water as this past weekend was fairly warm. What to expect going into this next week? Temperatures are gonna be cold midweek, possible rain and snow making the water high and dirty. Uh, a good thing to maybe try and have with you is some different leech patterns or woolly buggers, just having that little bit bigger profile as the water might get dirtier. Uh, but I wanna say thanks to Connor for coming out and helping with the video this week. And to stay up to date with everything going on with me, check out the past YouTube videos. And like I mentioned last week, if you're interested in booking a trip, please let me know, give me a call. My phone number is 715-690-9934. Thanks. Nice work, bud. Even got a little thank you. Wow, I didn't know you were gonna be that nice.